I guess I'm done playing Helldivers. I'm not refunding yet or attempting to because maybe they'll walk this back. So if you were on Shad stream last Thursday when we did Helldivers, you probably remember me not playing and me bitching the whole time in the background while they played that getting into the game was not happening because I kept crashing on startup. I fixed that, but if you pay attention to Helldivers at all, Sony put up a little announcement. Attention Helldivers, due to technical issues at the launch of Helldivers 2, we allowed the linking requirements for Steam accounts to a PlayStation Network account to be temporarily optional. That grace period will now expire. See details below in this post. Account linking plays a critical role in protecting our players and upholding the values of safety and security provided on PlayStation and PlayStation Studio games. This is our main way to protect players from griefing and abuse by enabling the banning of players that engage in that type of behavior. It also allows those players that have been banned the right to appeal. As such, as of May 6th, that is Monday for the curious, all new Helldivers 2 players on Steam will now be required to connect their Steam account to a PlayStation Network account. Current players on Steam will start to see the mandatory login from May 30th and will be required to have linked a Steam and PlayStation Network account by June 4th. We understand this may be an inconvenience to some of you. This step will help us continue to build a community that you are all proud to be a part of. I guess I'm done playing Helldivers, even though I only play it on stream with Shad and uh, Gravel in them. I guess I'm done playing Helldivers. I'm not linking a PlayStation account. And before we get too far into this, because I know uh, YouTube people don't watch the full video. I want to hit on a point that people like to yell about right now, which is Sony has a lot of data breaches. So does every company. If we're going to talk about Sony having a lot of data breaches, for anyone curious of how many data breaches Sony has, flashbang, by the way. 2023 October, 2023 September, 2017 August, 2014 December, 2014 November, 2011 June, 2011 May, 2011 April, 2008 July. All of these are data breaches that hit Sony that they talked about publicly. If we're going to talk about Sony, we need to talk about Microsoft, the other giant conglomerate that requires account linking. January 24, September 23, July 23. But yeah, another one in July 23, October 22, March 22, August 21, August 21, April 21, January 21. It doesn't matter what company you have your data with. There's always security risks. There's always going to be data breaches of some kind. So anyone who's making this about a, a Sony's not secure point of contention, don't listen to that. <laughs> Every com The only company that I trust with any sort of data is a, a little bit in the gaming area world might be Valve because it's hard to find any major data breaches that they've had on the level of Sony or Microsoft or Nintendo or any other gaming publisher or company, Rockstar, uh, Bethesda, no Ripperoni. Wow, to a lot of people that can't even get a PSN account. Yeah, so... Other than the security things, the biggest problem I've seen is one that uh, Jay, you just brought up, which is Helldivers has been available on Steam since what, January? I want to say, um, hold on. Helldivers has been available since February 8th. So March, April, May, it's been about three months since the game came out. And for people that don't know, there are places that do not allow a PlayStation account, right? And because they suspended the ability to, or not the ability, the requirement to link a PlayStation account, because it is on the actual store page it always has been and for people curious what i mean this has been on the store page for hell divers for i want to say like months since release specifically this part 
requires third-party account. PlayStation Network supports the linking to PlayStation account. Uh, they suspended it because apparently it wasn't working properly. That means people in those countries that have bought Helldivers, where they now no longer have access to the PlayStation Network system, there's a good thread of it on the Helldivers subreddit. But where is it? Uh, PSN is available in 69 countries around the world. Right now, there are roughly 190 independent countries in the world. The whole of Africa, except for South Africa, Egypt, and even European countries like Belarus don't have access to PlayStation Network. Uh, the Baltics also do not have PlayStation Network accounts. Anybody who owns Helldivers in those areas are at risk of being banned now if they use fake information to make an account. And they're going to be breaking Sony's TOS regardless because they can't just make a PSN account with their genuine information. They'll have to put fake information out there. You just need to go to the PlayStation website. Okay. I haven't been on PSN for about a decade, Starry, so I'm going to defer to you and anyone else in chat who has information on it that probably actually uses PlayStation. <laughs> My last console was a PS3. And people who don't have access to PSN and have played the game for over two hours have and have had it own uh yeah and who have owned it for longer than two weeks are fucked. Yeah. I'm curious if we're gonna see Steam open up refunds for Hell Divers. I know Pirate Software fully like detached his himself and the in his brand from it and put in for a refund so we'll we'll see i'm not refunding yet or attempting to because maybe they'll walk this back and if they do that'll be great but if it's going to require a playstation account i don't have a playstation i have no desire to play the game uh, ever on any sony products i have no desire to purchase any sony products Pirate Software did it. He damn, he loved the game. He has a he has a clip from a stream that I saw on TikTok that was essentially they removed all the channels in their Discord from it. He left a negative review and he requested a refund. So I don't know. He's really popular right now. Popular right now. So I assume it's gotten a lot of people to also do similar. <laughs> we'll see if they walk it back or not. That's why I haven't refunded yet. Because if they walk it back, then whatever. But. Back to what I said about Ghost of Tsushima. Am I going to be requested to make a PlayStation account just to play Ghost of Tsushima on PC? Because if I am, that's kind of stupid. It's a single player game. And if I am, uh, I, 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 I am familiar with boats. I, I grew up on a boat, in fact. So I, I will still play Ghost of Tsushima. My biggest reasons for not wanting to have a PSN account for anyone curious is I don't agree with how Sony censors video games. I'm an artist. It's the principle of the matter. This is not a case of, oh, no, my pixelated titties got covered up slightly. I don't like any the alteration to content that was produced by a creative individual that is then adjusted due to a perceived expectation of an audience in a different region. I, I think that's just asinine. I think it's naive. And that's my stance on that. The fact that they have shown no care or hesitancy when it comes to just turning off your access to games. And they also seem to not care about preservation period for video games. As much as Microsoft isn't doing enough, in my opinion, they're they're at least not 100% tone deaf about it. Like Nintendo and Sony seem to be. So those are like my main reasons why I just, I'm not, sorry, Sony, I'm not keen on a PS5 ever. Like I could, I could add in the fact that they're the one part of the game industry that, that for years and even now still, holds back crossplay on things. And if I have to make a PSN account to play Ghost of Tsushima officially, I'm just gonna get the game from somebody else to play because I do not trust Sony as a company to make smart decisions that benefit the customer at all. There was a post in the Discord from one of the community managers for Helldivers 2 
that very explicitly said, first of all, it's Sony's decision, not ours. Secondly, we don't have all the details about region related issues yet. We're chasing Sony to get more info. This was in response to a post that was uh, essentially, why would you guys do this? You're ruining Helldivers 2. So I would assume the Helldivers team's not happy about this either. And I just bring it back up because I didn't say it before, but I do want to say it just so I can include it in the YouTube video. Don't get mad at the Helldivers teams. I doubt anyone on the Helldivers team wanted this. I I highly doubt they did. If I'd be baffled if any of them would want this on their game. Don't get mad at them. Be mad at Sony. The thumbnail was immortalized in the Mamie channel. <laughs> yes. 